going to review two board games for you, two Pokemon board games, as you can tell by our amazing outfits. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, our first game is going to be Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, Guess That Pokemon, and our second game is Pokemon Champion Island, the DVD board game. Mine's better. Well, Mine. we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy, and we'll see you in about five seconds after this next cut. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start this off by playing the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Guess That Pokemon game. So, Val, do you want to explain the rules yeah, for everybody? In case you're wondering where I am, I am behind the camera. <laughs> um, right, uh, for those who aren't familiar with Guess That Pokemon, or as most of us will know this game as Guess Who... By Milton Bradley. Yes. <laughs> well, actually, it's by Pressman this time. Well, wow, this game is yeah, this Guess game. Who was by yeah. Milton it's Bradley. It's basically the same thing. Um, so basically, you've got these two boards, uh, he's got the blue base and I've got the yellow base. Um, we've each got the same cards in, although we've put them in um, our own way and we haven't seen each other's cards, where they are, blah blah blah. Um, basically, as the instructions say, the youngest player, that's me, will go first <laughs> by asking the other player any question that can be answered with a yes or a no. If these are yes or no questions um, that have to be asked. Um, we'll, we'll, in a minute, we'll each choose one Pokemon to be our main Pokemon, and we'll each have to try and figure out each other's uh, main Pokemon by asking these yes or no questions. Um, we eliminate Pokemon types and all that by uh, asking the questions and then flipping down the flippers. Um, and that's pretty much it, so the first person to guess uh, the other person's Pokemon is the winner. It's Simple. just that easy. Yes, indeed. So, um, to start off the game, we each need to choose our starter Pokemon. So, if you will lay your cards out on the table randomly, as I am doing. Oops, and I moved my camera as well. <laughs> That's a no-no. Right, as you can see, Marty is choosing his randomly. We cannot show our Pokemon to each other, otherwise it will be pointless. <laughs> Yes. Uh, right, let's see what I got. Ooh, you guys want to see? Ooh, it's a secret. So, it goes into the secret slot that neither of us can see. This is interesting because nobody at watching at home is going to know which one I picked. It's a mystery. It certainly is. Right, so you can see mine. Um, and let's start. I'm the youngest player. Haha. -ha. <laughs> so I'm given the advantage. Supposedly. Um, Right. Actually, really quickly, I will show you the game board so you have a better idea of what we're working with. Do do do, do do do, do do do, and do do do, and do. Right. <laughs> nice bit of music there. Yeah, it's my own creation. It's copyright Bell 2013. <laughs> right, let's start off um, by asking, does your Pokemon Walk on four legs. Yes. Right, so... That's a hard one. Wow, I'm illuminating quite a few. This might be cheating, actually. Uh, well, it's a yes or no question. There's yeah. no cheating there, is there? Okay, so I'll start with a bit more of a sort of basic sort of question. <laughs> Is your Pokemon green? Nope. Right, so... You put down the green ones. That's right. So yes, yeah, he had to think about it's it. It's been years <laughs> since I've played this game, so... You know, I, I played Guess Who when I was a child. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's going to take a bit of getting used to again. Okay. Right, so that's all your green... You put down all your green ones? Okay. I think so. Um... Right. Of course, there can be some discrepancy on what green is, you know. See, we could also do this the way the instructions suggest, asking for Pokemon types, but that would be kind of easy, wouldn't it? Yeah, so, I think that's... Um, I mean, it might maybe not for kids, uh, as the recommended age is on this box. Six somewhere. and up. Six and up, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, is your Pokemon pink? No. Okay. I want this game to last a while. So I'm asking a very silly question. Go on then. Okay. Is your Pokemon yellow? No. 
Now, when I say what co when I ask about colours, I mean main like main colours. Yeah, yeah, right. obviously. Um, hmm. I don't want. I don't want to like bl uh, finish already because I could probably finish this in one go. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yes. Is your Pokemon a normal type? No. Right. Is your Pokemon a fire type? Yes. Oh, he got a yes. <laughs> See, that's how you. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah. There's not a lot of fire types, is there? No. This is okay. in the era when fire types were pretty much bastardized. Oh, what's, what's your problem with fire types, people? Um, okay. Is yours. An electric type. Yes. Whoa. I've got this in the bag almost. Is your Pokemon on two legs? Yes. Oh, <laughs> we're evenly matched now. Mm -hmm. uh, is your Pokemon the first evolution? That's a bad question to ask because I really don't know. Oh god, this is what happens when you poop play new generation games. Uh, oh god, what am I supposed to ask? Um, dum, 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 think dum, of something. You gotta think of something else. Dum, 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 dum. Because I don't want to say yes or no because I don't know these Pokemon as well as the first. He gens. knows it better. He just doesn't want to lose. <laughs> no, it, seriously. I, Does your Pokemon's name begin with an L? <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I win! It was Luxio! That's right. And your yeah! Was a, yours was either a Chimchar or a Monfern. It was a Chimchar. Ah, right. What do you think of this then? Well, it's um, it's like Guess Who, isn't it? And, you know, I think everybody has played Guess Who, and if they haven't, then... I don't want to say what's wrong with you, but, you know, it's... Um, I'd be very surprised. They you want to know did. something? What? I never played Guess Who. Wow, really? Yep. Huh. This was actually my first Guess Who game. We've played this once before. Um, this is only my second time ever playing Guess Who, so... Yep. Ah. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I never knew that. But yeah, it's it's just Guess Who and I guess... <laughs> I guess. Um, <laughs> At correction, it is Guess That well, Pokemon. Yeah. But, you know... It's one of those cases where you're going to enjoy this game if you enjoy Guess Who. If you think Guess Who's a pile of shit, then you're not going to enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll end it with that. Monk Schleifs is going to eat the video, and we're going to transition to the next game. <sighs> okay, everybody, welcome back. We're back with Pokemon Champion Island by Snap TV Games. There's a few things to note about Pokemon Champion Island. The first is how huge the box is, yet... <laughs> There is very little inside of it. In fact, when you open the box up, you think, well, hang on, where's the board? And you think, well, hang on, where's the DVD? And, you know, you, you just wonder where everything is. But as it turns out, um, it's very compact, which is good in one way, because you don't have a lot of stuff to lose. But on the other, other end, you think, well, considering that everybody's got to recycle and we've got to make sure that we don't kill the planet, it's kind of a waste of resources. <laughs> but... It is what it is. So, um, I guess I'll go through the rules real quick and how the game plays as the DVD menu replays <laughs> once again. Um, the rules are pretty simple. Um, we take it in turns rolling the dice um, and we move to certain areas of the board. Um, there are certain icons that we land on on the board and when we land on those icons we tell the DVD where we are and the DVD takes it from there basically. Uh, so in a Pretty way, simple. yeah, it's us against each other but also us against the DVD as well. And yep. that's pretty much how it is. We've chosen our starter characters, hold them up together, and now they will go up on the starter point of the board. The starter space, starter point, Start. Whatever. Yeah, start space. Um, so let's start. Okay. Press play. Here we go. <laughs> How many so. players will be taking the Champion Island Challenge? Player 1. Choose your trainer and starter Pokémon. Player 2. 
Select a starter Pokémon and trainer. Ready? Press the Enter button on your remote to begin. Ash, it's your turn. Roll the die, move along the island, and select the space you landed on. Okay, here we go then. I'm doing what the DVD sort of like a to. dungeon master or something if you think about it. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay, I've rolled a three, <coughs> and I am going to go south to the third space, which is a pokeball. So let's push the pokeball and see what happens. Pokemon species only come in a single gender. Which of these Pokemon can only be male? Motha, Machamp, Empoleon. Oh fuck. Um Well, I'm pretty sure Machamp isn't always male. I'm pretty sure of that. I think. Mm, Although, I don't know. I, I mean, always thought I've there were female seen, Machamps, you know. I've never seen a Machamp with a bra. Yeah, that's true. The oh. answer is Mothin. I took too long. See, I was oh, right though, it wasn't a champ. Yeah, so basically the Pokeball is your chance to catch a wild Pokemon, which are available in this bag. We've already caught them technically, if you think about it. Yeah. Okay. It's Anything can happen. It's gonna talk over me. It's Brotherock's turn, so I'm going to roll, and I've rolled a four. I am going to go... Hmm. West. One, two, three, four. And I've landed on a Pokemon Center. She looks like she's flipping me off. She does a little bit. <laughs> Blissey stumbles over the supply cart and sends you flying. Take another turn and roll again. It's got to be said, Blissey looks like the typical NHS nurse. <laughs> right, so I get another turn. One. I am going to head Roll the die and south the you on. and land on a Pokeball. Okay, concentrate. Oh dear. Take a moment and study these Pokemon carefully. Oh, I'm terrible the at these. Will change <laughs> in a moment. Which one of these wasn't there before? Handu. Oh yeah! <laughs> you caught a Pokemon. Draw one wild Pokemon. Let's see. What is it going to be? Ash. I caught a Flareon. Well done. That's pretty amazing. Uh, and just like in the games, you can only carry six Pokemon at a time. And if you catch more than six Pokemon, you have to send them to the Pokemon computer. And you can only arrange these in Pokemon centers. I just thought the audience might like to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, as you, they, they've done as good a job as they can to incorporate the actual video game onto a board game. and. So far, you know, that's um, that's not bad. It's pretty yeah, good. Not it's, bad. it's not convoluted or you think, oh, that's nothing like the, the video game. It's quite good so far. I've got a roll. Five, right. So, go south to the Pokemon Center, one. Then I'll head west, two, three, four. Get to the blue disc. Five, what's that? It's, uh... it's a water academy. Okay. Right, oh no wait, that's the bat, uh, the gym isn't it? It's that there. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, we're gonna challenge for a gym badge. Or Not whatever kind of badge it is. You're at the Water Academy. Oh, it's an academy, I was right the first time. The point of the game is to collect all three academy badges, and the first person to collect these is the winner, so... That's what we're playing for. Yep. Let's see if you can get a Water Academy badge. Welcome to the Water Academy. 
Professor Birch will be testing you with water type Pokemon. Is that a Mudkip? Everybody's favorite. Get ready. Who will you send out against those water type Pokemon? Well, I've only got Turtwig, so. <laughs> Turtwig versus Love Disc. Hey, this is pretty neat. Yeah. I win! Hmm. He looks pretty happy. Yeah, he does. <laughs> you didn't hold back on that. You bastard. Well, it's pretty random, isn't it? Like Yeah, but it's going by choosy type. Grass beats water. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so you win. To reward your battle prowess, the professor offers a new Pokemon to join you on your journey. Ooh. Ooh. And he gets a badge. I want Grovile. You're gonna get Grovile. Mm -hmm. So we've got these large Pokemon discs, and I will fetch you Grovile. I can find it. I'm a grass Pokemon trainer so far. Uh, <laughs> it's there it is. Show off your new Pokemon. Grovile! <laughs> right. Isn't it cool how it sort of remembers your Pokemon and everything? I know it's yeah. all pre-programmed and everything. Right, three. I'm gonna go to the Academy. One, two, three. So water type again. Grass, fire, or water. Welcome to the Water Academy. Professor Birch will be testing you with water type. I never liked Birch. <laughs> Pseudo Wudo. How dramatic. Oh, Sudowood is a rock type. Is it? Water beats rock, yeah. Or ground type. I just royally screwed that up, didn't I? I thought he was a grass type. <laughs> no, he's he's the he's the rock or ground type that looks oh, like the. Damn. Looks like he a tree. He looks like a tree. Damn. God, I must sound like such an amateur now. That was a huge mistake. I I guess you could say I did it to teach the young children out there about Pokemon types. Or you could be honest and just say you forgot. I forgot. <laughs> That's it. Yeah! One! <laughs> okay, I'm moving north from the academy to the blue disc. Ooh! So we go up here. Yes, indeed. Who's the old bastard? <laughs> He's uh, the professor. Professor. What who? does this say? I have no idea. What does this section mean? That's the academy entrance. Well, I can't. You get a trivia question from one of the Pokemon professors. So it could be him, it could be somebody else. Okay, well, let's see. Find all the electric type Pokemon. <laughs> this is going to be easy. Ready? Go. Oh, crap. He failed. I... So now you've got to go to your nearest Pokemon Center. Up in the snowy mountains. Yep, up in the snowy mountains. I thought the arrow was on fucking doodad. Cocky. Loser. <laughs> Just like Ashton, I guess. Oh. Four. Right, let's head east. One, two, three, four oh. to the fire academy. Oh, that wasn't a good move. No, that's true. Yes, uh, time to watch you get beat. Let's go. <laughs> it's remember, so I've got Turtwig and Grovile, right? So that's actually pretty good. Um, but how do you use your wild Pokemon? Is what I want to know. I don't know. Maybe hmm. you don't. It's been how many years? It's been like four years since we played this. Nearly five. So we're like going back into it like it's brand new. Uh, let's just send Grovile to his doom. You know. Construction's over.
Loser! <laughs> Although yours was based on, on a bad move and mine was based on me being Better stupid. Next time. Just be sure to think about your Pokemon and their types before you enter an academy. Doesn't seem like a very sad sort of pose. <laughs> Loser! <laughs> Oh, actually, yeah, it does look like he's going like that loser, <laughs> yeah. Brock, Sudowoodoo, get ready. Sudowoodoo? What adventures? Sudowoodoo. I always said Sudowoodoo. Sudowoodoo. Voodoo. Voodoo. Four spaces. Let's see. I could go this way or this way. I'm going to go. One, two, three, four, east to the entrance to the Pokemon Academy. The green one. The, the green, green one. Oh, that's not a good place to go. But go on. I've I've made my bed. <laughs> well, I was just going to ask you a question. Anyway. Yeah, that's true. DVD time. Which needs Pokemon a light bulb. Pokemon can learn the rare attack Volt Tackle only if its parents held a light bulb. Which of these is it? God damn, do you know this out there? Requires a light ball for both. Oh, yeah. Advance to the nearest academy. That's a green one. The nearest Pokemon Academy and prepare for your grass. Challenge. Well, this could be interesting. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Choose your academy. Oak. Everybody likes Professor Oak. Professor you, can't, amazing. you can't have anything bad to say about <laughs> Professor Oak. Rock type is weak against grass, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Or ground type. We're gonna find or rock. Out. I have no idea. He looks pretty sharp, man. That's some retro Pokemon footage, actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, twice a loser. Loser. <laughs> Bad luck. Right, two. One. Two. Ooh, Team Ooh. Rocket. And it's Retro Rockets. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's see. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Team Rocket, blast off at the speed of light. Surrender now. We're prepared to fight, fight, fight. Nope. <laughs> now you know what the wall Pokemon are for. Ah. To defend against Team Rocket. Yeah. Two spaces. Ooh, gotcha. Team Rocket. Oh, it should be on Brock, not Ash. Oh no, all the Dricos. Prepare for trouble and that's a threat. This time, what's double is our net. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that? <laughs> what a girly scream. Yes, I do. I have a Flareon. Awesome. <laughs> well, good for you. Woohoo, I beat Team Rocket. Is that it? Ash, it's your yeah. turn. Oh, you don't win anything. No, not that way, does it? Oak always holds the book and he, it's like, see this book, see this fucking book, <laughs> and he throws it at if you. If you can dodge a book, you can dodge a Pokemon. <laughs> Who will you send out to challenge grass type Pokemon? Let's try Grovile again. Go Bulbasaur! <laughs> La 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 It's like Xena Warrior Princess. Oh, it's a little heart on its head. Congratulations! He gets his second Academy badge. Grass type Pokemon can be tough, but technique and luck one out. That's not grass. <laughs> Hooray! Did he say Sally Forth? <laughs> I have no idea. Reward your battle prowess. The professor offers a new Pokemon to join you on your journey. Which do you want? Oh man. What uh, a choice. Well, strategically I'm going with Wartortle. Because I already have the badges from the Grass and Water Academy, so Wartortle it is. <laughs> Collect your trained Pokemon. This is it, people. Send a bag. 
<laughs> Choose your academy. Where am I? Fire. Fire, yeah. Or water. Back to that bal balding asshole, Al. <sighs> totally I always love water. I always love the squirtle evolutions, you know? There was some old school. See, they don't have enough. Uh, they don't have footage of War Turtle, so they showed a moving image. <laughs> oh! Oh! How did that happen? <laughs> I still have a chance. This game's rooting for me. Brock the Rock always wins. Ah! You got a critical hit. Hey, this game's uh, random, just like so the game. So that actually makes it the game a hell of a lot better. That means because yeah. otherwise it would have been over there and then, um, but obviously not. So that's so good. there's an element that's of chance. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. This is the only academy where Pseudo Wudo actually has a chance. You tell that's old school footage. That's more modern. <laughs> Yay! My first one. Well done. I get a fire badge. Work, trainer. Beating those fire type Pokemon is no easy feat. Grab your fire crest and head out. Get my Pokemon first. To reward mm. the battle Those are some pretty good Pokemon. Pokemon to join you on your I think the only one I don't really Which like is Alekid. How about you? I like Alekid. I like him. I don't know why you wouldn't like Alekid. He's just the one I don't uh... like out of the rest of them. Um, I'm going to choose you. Tedadal's evolution looks like um, a dinosaur from Super Mario World. Yeah, actually. Now that you mention it, I got a bay leaf. They've got a pretty good winning streak this time around, you know? Yeah. Oh no! The hell happened You've there? gone back? No, I didn't. I pressed the... Oh. Start game, I guess. But the game will reset. <gasps> We've had him screw up, man. Oh, shit. The DVD goofed. The DVD goofed, indeed. Well, you know what? I'm going to declare Marty the winner. Marty Rocket, raise your hands in victory, for you have beat me at Pokemon Champion Island. Two, two badges I mean, two to badges one. to one. That's, I'd say that's pretty fair. And funnily enough, we each got... All three of the badges combined, didn't we? Yeah, that's something, eh? But, I mean, um, despite the game messing up at the very last moment, uh, you got a very good idea of how the game works. Yeah, I yeah. actually, uh, you know, I remember this game being kind of a bit more boring than this, but I actually really like it. So do I, I really enjoyed it as well. That'd I think fun. that pretty much sums it up. So, from us at the Rocket Hideout, bye! See ya.